monsters are beings from folklore, believed to dwell in the sea and often imagined to be of immense size. Accounts of sea monsters span the ages and come from all over the globe, wherever people have a lot of contact with large bodies of water. Some of the earliest include Avianus, a Latin writer of the 4th century AD who relates of Carthaginian explorer Hamilcar's voyage. There are monsters of the deep and beasts swim amid the slow and sluggishly crawling ships, whatever the fuck he's on about. The Klinglet people, who are indigenous of the Pacific Northwest coast of North America, have a legend about a sea monster named Gunnacadate. Go to Canada on the dead, huh? Who brought prosperity and good luck to a village in crisis. People starving in the home they made for themselves on the southeastern coast of Alaska. Loch Ness is probably the most famous sea monster that has captured people's imaginations for many years and con- continues to do so to this day. Recent findings suggest that the creature that people keep spotting might actually be giant eels. Sea monsters have recently been spotted at Homestead Lake slash Dam in Benoni, but these are not the first mythical creatures to have been spotted in Benoni over the years. During the 1980s and the 1990s, werewolves were frequently spotted prowling the streets and mine dumps of Benoni. Take a look at this old newscast from the late 80s, where this phenomenon had so captured people's attentions and minds that even the famed and glorious institution of the SABC wanted to jump on board with the hype. Take it away, Trixie! Numerous reports have recently been made of werewolf sightings on the Benoni mine dumps. Police have been called out several times in response to distressed residents after sighting werewolves walking on their hind legs and howling at night. One resident even claimed to have their kit bag stolen by an alleged werewolf. These sightings have also been associated with satanic activities in the area. A police spokesperson reported finding pentagrams, candles and mutilated cats in the mine dump region. But that's enough about the werewolves, that's old news. In December of 2019, right after the great year of 2019, people started to talk about sea monsters popping up in the Great Lakes of Benoni. Here's a recreation of one eyewitness's accounts. Thanks to the people in the studio for putting that one together, and to Brad for his great sculptures. And now let's talk to one eyewitness who wasn't too traumatized to appear on camera. I go first and see so some people eating food. I said, what are you doing? He said, I said, ah, we are on lunch time. We want to, to have a time, a nice time in here in the park. It was a strange thing for me. It was the first time to see what is this. Then I was scared to say, ah, my man, this is the most. I said, oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, thank you. and I was screaming, screaming, what's going on when people were Amazed, what is this, this guy screaming? I say, I see some, something strange. Oh, my man, that's a monster. Uh, I was scared. I was scared and I ran away from the first. Some people have suggested that this is just a hoax. Two suspicious characters were seen performing suspicious acts on a suspicious blue dinghy wearing suspicious looking clothing, suspiciously close to where the alleged sea monster was spotted. Have you seen either of these two before? They have not been seen since, so it's not clear if they are culprits or victims of the monster. Here's what Constable Jacques Fourry had to say. We've been investigating these two suspicious characters for a couple of days now because it looks remarkably like they were putting something into the dam. But you know, they could have just been fishing. They haven't been seen since and we're sure that their families are worried. If you have any information of these two suspicious suspects, please don't even hesitate to get in contact. We need information fast. You can email us on email at thepolice.com or otherwise you can just contact me via my Twitter handle which is Constable Bacante Deluxe. That was Constable Jacques Fourie had to say on the case there. Have you seen these two or this fucking hippie? Were they victims? Were they pulling a fast one? We may never know. But one thing we do know is sea monsters. What are they?
I made this sculpture as a, it was something playful. I've always been interested in graffiti and street art and um, I just wanted to do something fun and like an installation that everyone could enjoy at the dam. I chose the dam because I've done this before and people vandalized it quite quickly and I thought if I did something in the water it would last a bit longer. On the day when we were making it, we had a lot of fun. It was, it was the three of us, Mark, Taryn and myself, and we just had fun with it. Some of it was quite difficult, like hammering, hammering it into the dam. <laughs> it, took us, it took us about four, maybe five hours to hammer the things into the dam. It was quite a, quite a job. I was hoping people would have a reaction to it. It actually came full circle when I, on one of my WhatsApp groups, people started randomly talking about it, which to me was fantastic. <laughs> I loved it. Because <laughs> they didn't know it was yours, did they? They didn't know it was mine, and, yeah. and they were just talking about it. And I hadn't said anything, so they kind of validated it for me.